The doubling and halving strategy may be a great choice for multiplication problems that have at least one even number in the equation. Let's demonstrate using 15 times 32. For this strategy to work, I need to make sure I am doubling one factor and splitting the other factor in half, or I will get an incorrect answer. Let's double the 15 to get 30 and cut the 32 in half to get 16. My new problem is now 30 times 16, which still isn't much easier than the original problem. If I continue and double the 30 while splitting the 16 in half, I get a new problem 60 times 8. We can start to see that my problems are getting easier. If I continue to double the 60 and have the 8, I now have 120 times 4, and one more time gets me 240 times 2. The doubling and halving strategy leads me to creating a much simpler multiplication problem that will get me the same answer as the original problem. Now, let's look at the problem 23 times 26 and try to solve it using this strategy. 23 is an odd number, so I am going to double it while cutting my even number, 26, in half. This creates the problem 46 times 13. Now, if I continue this strategy, doubling the 46 will bring me to 92, but cutting the 13 in half gives me 6.5. I don't want to make my problem harder by putting a decimal into the equation. Sometimes, this strategy may lead to one of these dead ends, encouraging me to abandon this strategy and solve the problem using another multiplication strategy.